we will now go through the TOFD calibration process. Here is a TOF calibration block which is cut off from a pipe and you can see there are uh, holes are drilled in the calibration block and the holes in this block are actually at uh, 4 millimeters, 10 millimeters and about 21 millimeter and then there is a third hole and at the very bottom is the notch which is right here. So here is a close up of the calibration block. This will be the inspection surface which is the OD of the pipe. Then there are four holes with a diameter of 2 millimeter. This one has a depth of 4 millimeters, 10 millimeters. This is about 22 and this is the third one. And then there is a notch which is a 2 millimeter notch on the ID of the calibration block. So now we have placed the transducers, uh, transmitter and receiver and again these are the calibration holes and the signal is not displayed on the UT instrument screen. So the lateral wave is here and this signal is actually the top of the second hole which is actually this hole and this signal is the bottom of that hole. So as you can see the depth of this hole is 10 millimeters and the time difference or the separation from the top and the bottom of the hole is 2 millimeters. And uh, what we can see is that we are unable to see the top hole which is right here at 4 millimeters and the reason for that is that it's in the top dead zone which is the zone which is shadowed by the lateral wave. All we can see is the bottom of that hole which is at a depth of 4 millimeters. So what it means is that our dead zone is about 4 to uh, maybe about 5 millimeters in this case. Okay, uh, this is a close up of the UT screen. The lateral wave signal is right there which is right there at 0. This is the second hole and the top of the second hole is at 10 millimeters. This is the bottom of the second hole. This signal is actually the bottom of the first hole which is at 4 millimeters and as you can see the top of this hole is shadowed by the lateral wave and it's not resolved uh, by UT. Now to verify the calibration as I said this is the top of the second hole and it's measuring as 10.08 millimeters. The bottom of the hole is at 12.29 millimeters. So the size of the hole is being measured as 2.22 millimeters. Now you can see this is the second hole and the third hole signals are right here. This is the top of the third hole and this is the bottom of the third hole. Why is it that the signal from the second hole is much stronger than the signal from the third hole? The reason is that the way these probes are placed on this setup will, will, is producing the optimum response from the second hole and then the signals drop as you go deeper and deeper into the material. So here is our top setup to scan a plate. Uh, this is a, a simple scanner. It has four wheels. They are magnetic wheels. Here is the encoder which takes the position reading and these are the two TOF probes and as you can see the weld cap is right here and we have placed the probes as close as possible to the cap to minimize the PCS distance. So now I will scan the weld and you will see the response on the Omni scan. Here is the screen display as we start the inspection. Again you can see the lateral wave is here and the back wall echo is right here. Now I will scan the plate and then you will see the response on the screen. I will go ahead and scan the plate now and you can watch the screen develop on the Omni scan. Here we go and there is a flaw right there as you can see it shows a pretty big signal. 
and I keep going, keep going. And let's say this is the end of the plate. Here is a rescan of the plate one more time. And now you can see on the scan the flaw signal is showing right here and this one is the lateral wave. So once you get the flaw signal then it can be sized and the depth of the flaw measured using the calibration setup. So here is the final display of the scan and uh, it shows the beginning of the scan here and that's the uh, end of the scan which is somewhere here and we can see the defect signal is right in this area and when we bring the cursor right over it you can see the A scan and in the A scan this is the lateral wave, this is the back wall and the flaw is right here. This is the top of the flaw measured at 11.14 millimeter. This is the bottom of the flaw at 13.92 millimeter. So the flaw size is 2.78 millimeter. So this is uh, how the TOFT inspection is done. We gave you a demonstration of the calibration, a demonstration of the actual inspection. Again, as in any ultrasonic inspection, the quality of the inspection is going to depend on the selection of the equipment, selection of the probes, which is very critical for TOFT and personnel who have the right experience and understand the concept of TOFT. Thank you.